I'm just picking up some notes I left. Don't ask for the disaster. Got it. You, you're probably thinking that it's because you didn't throw salt over your shoulder or you uh, didn't hang that lemon with the six green chilies on it, right? Or some other superstitious thing that you think you didn't do. I didn't wear blue shoes. Mm -hmm. Are you aware that you don't actually exert that kind of control over the universe? I would <laughs> concede that, no. All right. Where do you stand on karma? Mm. Are you surprised to see me here? I just need to find these notes. I, I just thought you might be surprised since um, I don't live here anymore. Somehow Guadi knew my whole case. We have to sell the house. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if someone on my team told you him. You do remember agreeing to sell the right house, don't you? Did I? Yeah. Like ten times, but in that non-committal way that you do. Huh. Yeah, exactly like that. Because most doctors and lawyers earn salaries that can pay the mortgage. Unless, of course, you're dumb idealists like us who work in free clinics and as public defenders, in which case a mortgage like this just hurts. Diego, of all days. I, I totally get it. Today's not the day. But when you're in trial, it's a really bad time. And when you're prepping for a trial, it's also a really bad time. And these mortgage bills... Don't stop coming. It's just so a I'll, really bad time. I'll take care of all of it. Okay? I'll move all the junk out. I'll clean it up. I'll repaint the house. I'll I'll be the one to call the the realtors yeah, and do the I, interviews I just, and I... We both thought that I should move out. Right? That was a mutual decision. Okay? This house doesn't make sense for one person. It barely made sense when there were <laughs> It's time. I got a call today from the State Medical Licensing Board. Someone tipped them off that I used to prescribe you excessive amounts of Oxycontin. Now I'm under review. poked a bear in court. He's obviously trying to get to me through you. I'm, I'm so sorry. Back off of him. I can't. He's my best chance to save Michael. Right, and I save lives too. But I can't do it without a license. Well, you didn't even know. I, I stole your prescription, Pat. You have to tell the licensing board that. Right, and they'll say, what, you're a doctor and you don't know your wife's taking Oxy? And they'll be right. Rachel, they'll be right. Because I did know. I hated seeing you in that much pain when he, <clears throat> after he died. And I knew, I knew you were taking the pills and I turned a blind eye. That's not your fault. Please don't blame yourself for me betraying you. But that's, that's how we do this, me and you, right? Like, right now, I'm so mad, and yet I'm still worried. Because, you know, I gotta ask, Rachel, you're not sleeping. Your, your, your superstitious thing has gone from being a little less quirky cute to a little more weird you're running on fumes i mean is there is there any chance that the stress of all this oh, is pushing you back stop. onto the stop. just stop I'm, I'm i'm done with all of that you have to trust me you i trust addiction i don't <laughs> 